Hey Aries, welcome to your love reading. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is Pretty Intuitive, back with another one. Hope you guys are doing good. So let's get into your reading. This is for the energy from now to the end of December. What is coming to Aries in love, please? What is coming to Aries in love? Aries. Aries, you have it is safe for you to love. Sagittarius pulled that. You may be dealing with a Sagittarius. And you also have free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. Now, free yourself could be talking about anything. Um, but it does say you're calling in your soulmate. What's coming to Aries in love? What's coming to Aries in love? Ooh, okay. So Aries, you have these seven of pentacles reverse. Ooh. So it's either something that you're seeing as a high risk, low reward, or you don't want to waste your time. Okay. You don't want to waste your time on somebody. Remember whatever I'm saying could be vice versa, or you feel as though you could just be struggling with trust issues, or maybe the person you're dealing with is struggling with trust issues. Okay. What's coming to Aries in love? Could also be a situation to where you're kind of tired of waiting for something or someone. <clears throat> it's coming to Aries in love. Okay. Yeah, same cards as Sagittarius. You could be dealing with a Sag. I'm also getting Taurus. But it feels like there's this mixed hot and cold energy coming from someone. There could be like a root issue of trust issues or a fear of commitment, but they do go hand in hand. It's coming to Aries in love. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean that this person did something to cause trust issues. Uh, maybe for some of you, they did. It's coming to Aries in love. But there's this overall um, fear of commitment I'm getting, like of trusting So someone could be giving, throwing up a lot of mixed signals. Maybe dealing with a cancer. You could even find yourself feeling pretty confused. But, okay, Sagittarius come out with the temperance. But it's like, you're wondering, like, should I give up on this? Should I trust this person? Should I wait on them? Should I hope for them? Um, you know, are they going to get with the program? Should I be patient? And you're probably running out of patience for some of you, which is understandable. But I think deep down, Aries, you feel like this person may be, you know, worth waiting for. You may feel that way. And I feel like this person feels like you are worth waiting for no matter how frustrating this has been, no matter how, you know, uncertain this has been i feel like someone's had a lot of doubts but at the same time there's like hmm deep down i feel like this person is my person like i feel like we're soulmates i feel like we have good compatibility i feel like someone could be going through their mood or just kind of like been rejecting love or acting some kind of way acting stank okay acting stank but deep down this person their feelings for you are really strong aries you have the devil this person's feelings for you are really, really, really strong, okay? Um, Capricorn. And it could be that same intensity that's kind of like, that causes some arguments between you two. Because I feel like you, your feelings are strong for one another. Okay? But at the same time, I feel like there's a strong pull between you and this person. But at the same time, there's a lot of fear too, Okay? But I feel like the main thing you're wondering right now, Aries, is if, am I wasting my time? The past could be very significant with what, with why someone is feeling this way. Maybe someone cheated in the past or, you know, you know, someone's past overall just kind of causes issues, but... Um, 
Um, someone could have some lower vibrations too that causes them to think this way. I'm feeling Aries. Okay. Um, because I feel like someone's like in it, but at the same time, they're really, really, really guarded and they're holding on. They're very stubborn. They're holding on to the, the past or the pain or something like that. Um, but for spirit to say it's safe for you to love, I, I mean, I think this is someone, it is safe for you to love them, but I mean, you could take someone, right? You could take a horse to the pond, but you can't force it to drink. You can't. You can't force it to drink. Um, although there's a lot of love between you and this person. But there's also a lot of... There, there, potentially, potentially, it could be a bit of toxicity. Because, you know, maybe the fear of losing one another is very strong. And that creates fears and a whole domino effect. Um, so, while you guys have a really strong connection... It, like I said, it's that same intensity that could kind of like cause problems, okay, between you two. I'm also getting the sex could be very good, okay? <laughs> the sex could be very, very good. Okay. What else for Sagittarius? Oh, Sagittarius, Lord. What else for Aries, please? Mask. <clears throat> so, yeah, it does feel like someone's definitely hiding underneath a mask. Especially if you don't know how this person feels. They have intense feelings for you. But these are things that they're afraid to confront. They're afraid to admit them. They're afraid to feel them. They're afraid to of letting these feelings come, like overwhelm them or control them or something like that. So there may even be like some vulnerability issues, okay? Unexpected. And it doesn't feel like this person is just a player. Like I feel like this person, they probably have been player-ish, but it's really because they have trust issues. And they probably don't want to get hurt again, but you do have surrender. This is someone who wants to surrender. They want to at the end of the day. Because we see that it's intense, okay? We clearly, clearly see that. Like, their feelings are more, more intense for you by the day, um, Aries. <laughs> the longer you guys don't talk, the longer you stay away from each other, or even if you guys are together. I think this is definitely your soulmate. I think you guys definitely have good compatibility. But like I said, I think the issues here are the trust issues, the fear of commitment, um, the fear of losing oneself and being vulnerable and that type of thing, okay, is the problem. That's what I feel. All right. All right. Anything for Aries in this love situation? Anything else? <clears throat> See what I'm trying to say? There could definitely be some insecurities here as well. I feel like someone has real problems being vulnerable. They're afraid to be vulnerable and to show their true feelings here. There may be a bit of ego issues too. Five of Wands. I feel like this person's going to slowly but surely kind of like weaken. And they will tell you how they feel. And eventually they will um, succumb to their feelings for you, Aries. Because they, they have strong feelings. I don't know why someone's fighting it, though. The feelings are intense. Very intense. And, and I think this person's honestly just scared. I think they're just scared. All right. Who is Aries dealing with, please, in this love reading? Who is the Aries dealing with, please, Aries? All right, so you have Gemini, Aries. You have Aquarius. All right, you have Aquarius. Who is this person for Aries, please? Sagittarius. 
Cancer. Yeah, Pisces. Let me get one more for Aries. And Virgo. Okay. What key um, numbers do we have for Aries, please? Uh, the number six. The nine. Number nine. Seven. The number six. I think six already came out. One more. And the number four. Okay. So Aries, I hope you enjoyed this reading and it gave you some clarity as to what is going on in your connection right now. Um, if you're open for communication, Aries, ugh, I would have to say this person's probably going to be a little bit stubborn or something for a little while longer. Um, or Aries, if you're afraid of this person, like you're afraid to let them in. I mean, the ball could really just be in your court. You probably feel a strong pull to them but at the same time. Maybe you feel, maybe it's you struggling with these issues of vulnerability or um, you're afraid this person's going to hurt you or hurt you again or something like that. Or maybe they had some toxic behaviors in the past. That could be something that you're kind of still thinking about. All right. So if you want to know for sure, Aries, it's best to book yourself a personal reading. I do offer personal readings. Um, take a look in the description section. You'll see my website. All right. Thank you for being here. Talk to you soon.